Hi everyone, it's Vicky here today designing with the Hip Kit Club February kits. So today it's Mixed Media Monday and uh, my assignment is to use punches. So I've just taken this piece of cardstock, white cardstock, which um, you can see I've already done some punching from. That's from, for another layout, so um, don't, take no notice of that. So I just sewed my page first before I punch because I know I want to add some mixed media to to what I'm going to punch out and it seemed easier to do it before than after. So I've got a couple of old McGill punches here um, of, it's the same flower in two different sizes. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch out some of those and the big ones and then some small ones. So what my idea here is, is that I'm going to create a sort of a cut file but using punched out shapes. So I haven't really used my punches since I got my silhouette because there are plenty of cut files to use and and so it's be they've become sort of redundant. But what I thought was a lot of people don't have a silhouette but they still like the effect that you get from a cut file. So I thought I would try to recreate that using my punches because most of us do have punches. So here you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the flowers and I've arranged them into a heart shape. Now I'm just going to stick them together. Now it's different from a cut file in that you'll have obviously overlap on the flowers, but really you don't notice it once it's all painted up and, and I think it looks quite cute. So here you go, I'm just sticking those down, just a little bit of glue, just to hold them together. It was quite easy to piece together because the flowers are all the same shape, but I'm sure that this could be done with different shaped flowers and some leaves and you know just to to pin them together so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint paint this and I'm using the paints from the kit so they're the art alchemy um, paints that, that came with the color kits and they're lovely and shiny you know really really shimmery so I'm just putting on a bit of pink and then I'm using the sprays, the shimmer sprays, uh, the Prima shimmer sprays from last month's colour kit just to blend in and add a bit of variation of colour. So the three colours are essentially the same, there's a blue, a pink and a yellow in different shades. The blues are the most different to each other but it just adds that little bit of extra dimension in there so you can see what I mean. So I'm going to just do the butterflies as well. I don't end up using quite all of these, but most of them, so I always do a bit extra to what I need. So there we go, so adding some of those sprays as well and adding a bit more of the yellow. Things always look nice when there's a few colours in there, a bit of texture, a bit of dimension, just helps with that overall look. So there you can see now it's all dry and um, I've... You, you can see there it's all shimmery as well, a bit of sparkle on there. So I've chosen my photo, just a cute looking photo of my two nieces. And I'm going to back a piece of white cardstock with some patterned paper from the kits. So I like that blue um, and that goes quite well there. So some Project Life cards are coming out and to back the photo. And you can see I'm just sort of trying to figure out where the butterflies might go on the layout. And that is very similar to how to the placement that will happen at the end. So it won't change much from there. I fussy cut this little envelope with um, some flowers, but I don't actually use this. I will will use it on another layout, but so it's not wasted. But I thought it was pretty cute on there. And the colours all go really well. So we've got these um, puffy hearts from La La Love which I adore with the glitter in and that works really well there with the heart the other side and those little stickers there from um, were also from La La Love. Now this is a Project Life card and I cut this floral out because I really like it um, and I want to use it. I don't make you watch the whole piece of film of me cutting it in a second we're just going to skip through that. There we go. So I'm going to use that uh, on the side there like that. I'm not particularly happy with those green leaves, so in a moment I'm going to cut those off. Oh, there we go. 
doesn't quite go there's no other green there is a little bit of green left in that floral but it's it's so small it's not particularly noticeable so I'm happier with that now so the heart looks great there on an angle because if you see my niece is sort of leaning in towards her sister so it works really well going across the photo so I'm just putting some foam dots on there there you go you can see it sort of angles across the photograph and I think that works really well so I'm just sticking down And I cut a bit more off of that floral and put it into the bunch so it wasn't hanging below too much. So now I'm just going to add some foam onto the back of the photo cluster. And I didn't put any foam on those two pink flowers that overlap the photo so that just lays on top perfectly. So there you go, so that's on the angle. So I like that, I like the cluster of flowers in there. So I'm just sort of playing with the other embellishments to, to make those fit where I'd like them. So I'm just going to gut the middle out of this piece of paper because um, I really like it. So I'll probably use it again and I don't want to waste it by putting a whole sheet on the back. I'm just going to stick down the white to it. Okay. Out come the paints again because I'm going to do some splatters on the background. I can't resist splatters. I don't think that there's ever a layout that I do that doesn't have them. And these paints are just with a little bit of water splatter really nicely. And they leave a, leave a lovely shimmery dot behind. Okay, so just wipe that up a bit with my towel. So the photo's going under there. The cluster to the side. So I'm starting to stick things down now. You saw me earlier, I think, with a bit of kitchen towel with that um, puffy puffy heart. What I was doing was trying to take some of the stickiness on, off the back so I could move it around and just stick it down later. Oh, these little paper clips, I took the top off of one of them. It's a little rose. It's really sweet. And it came off really, really easily. So um, that's just going to slot in there. And you can see I'm just gluing those down. I'm still trying to use that little envelope, but it doesn't it just doesn't work properly. So now I put on the um the butterflies and stick those down in the position. So they're sort of coming up and across the page. And I'm just picking out my title here. So sparkle. I thought sparkle was quite nice, and it the colour goes really well. So um I think in a second we're just going to cut because I got my, oh no, here we go, a little sticker that says precious. And then we're going to cut because I got my sewing machine out to put some trails for the butterflies. And you don't see me doing that, but you can see the trails there. And they'll, they'll be easier to see in the close-ups as well. So now I just stamp the dates. I always forget to do this, so I'm trying to make an effort to do this going forward. <laughs> I'll probably forget, but we'll give it a go. And that's it. That's the final layout. I hope you like it. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Please subscribe to my channel. And here are some close-ups coming up for you to have a look at so that you can see the detail on the mixed media and also on the with the stitching there. And you can see the flowers overlapping, but that really doesn't bother me. So there we go. Thanks for watching. See you soon. This has been Vicky for Hip Kit Club. Thank you. Bye-bye.